Shugs, I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how I stamp my logo on some of my products. Um, specifically, these are the products that are faux leather or artificial leather. Um, I've tried to look up methods, um, like ways of, do, ways of doing this on um, Google, on YouTube, but I couldn't find anything. So, um, I just kind of played around with some different things and I found a method that works for me. And hopefully it can help you guys out with those of you who um, don't have leather bags, but you have faux leather or artificial leather bags. There is a way to stamp your logo on them. And this can also save you costs when it comes to, um, I guess, not paying out the money to have someone else customize your items for you. This way you can save that money and do it yourself. So I guess you can call this a DIY. <laughs> this is the purse that we're gonna be doing this on today. Um, this is an artificial leather purse. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna put my safety gloves on because we are going to be working with a blowtorch. So you wanna have your safety gloves um, anytime that you're working with high heat, you want to make sure you have um, thick gloves that are specifically designed to protect your hands from high heat. So we have our blowtorch here. We're ready and it's off. All safety um, precautions have been taken with that. And I'm going to put on my safety glasses just to keep me nice and protected. And I'm going to show you guys how I did this. I've done probably about 50 bags and, and wallets already. So these are my last two. And I wanted to share this with you guys just to kind of help you out. So you can do this with your products at home. Okay. And I don't have um, a tool with a handle on it, which is typically um, what you want to buy with um, a stamp like this. This stamp actually has my logo on it, which it says Legacy Faith. I'm not sure how well you can see it. And it has my logo name on there. And I'm using uh, some pliers in order to keep this away from my hands while I'm using the blowtorch. So I'm going to hold it like this. And then we can torch it. I'm gonna turn this on here. Let me put this down first. Turn it on, make sure this is working properly. There we go. All right. I'm gonna warm this up here. And then I'm gonna make sure that the stamp isn't too hot by using um, a piece of similar material that I got from an old handbag. This was also artificial leather. Um, I just cut it off <laughs> of an old handbag and I used this just to make sure that the iron isn't too hot to put on the actual product that I'm gonna be selling. So I tested out on this first and then um, stamp my actual product with the stamp. So here we go. So we do that for about 20 seconds. And then I take it off of here. And I stamp my leather, my faux leather here. Sample that I did, I'm gonna stamp it right here. I'm gonna hold it down for 10 seconds. Okay, so if it burns through that leather, then we know it's too hot. So I'm just going to wait about five seconds. And I'm going to try another area. 
See, that would have been my product. It would have burned. Okay, that's getting a little bit better to what we want. Choose another area here. That's what we want. So now our product is ready to be stamped. And what you can do is you can um, pre-measure the area that you want to stamp and just kind of make sure that it's in the middle. Or if you're good at eyeing it and you trust yourself enough, then you can kind of eye it for yourself. So I'm gonna pick a spot here. I'm gonna kind of eyeball a spot that I think is pretty much in the middle. I've done quite a few of these, so there we go. And I'm gonna hold it down for about 10 seconds here. All right, and there is our stamp on our product. All right, and guys, that is pretty much it. Um, it's a do-it-yourself method of putting your stamp on your products. I mean, starting out, if you're just starting your business, you don't have like a lot of money to put into customization because um, you know, you're just starting your business and you don't want to take out, um, you know, like a huge loan in order to get the extra stuff that you're going to need for your products that you won't get the money back for because stamping your logo on your products, um, like all of the unique shipping methods or unique packaging methods that you use to make your customer happy and to make it a unique experience for them, you don't get all that money back. So um, you definitely want to cut costs where you can and save costs where you can. So this is just a way to do that. I hope this video was helpful, y'all. If so, definitely like this video. Leave me a comment in the comment section and let me know what you thought about it. Let me know if you tried it and if it works for you. And um, if you have any other methods that may work for me, leave it in the comments for me. All right? And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so that anytime I post a video, you will be the first to be notified. All right? I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, shoo.